Hello everyone and welcome back to yes another uh, one of our artist series interviews. Today I'm joined by the lovely Gina Gelder. Gina, hello and welcome to the artist series. Great to have Hi. you today. How are you today? Not bad. It's uh, got caught in the rain on the way here, but apart from that, doing quite well. I know, standard, standard sort of uh, Scotland sort of life. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't live in Scotland actually. No, it's Oh. No, my studio is in Northumberland, ah. so um, close, but not that close. <laughs> no, st- same weather, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> same, same treats and that. Oh, that's great. So Northumberland, so what made you yeah, get involved with the trail up in up in Aberdeen? Um, I, I've, I've done a few wild and art trails to this point, but um, the, the charity spoke to us a little bit, clan cancer support, like I've mm-hmm. lost family members to the cancer and I just... I just wanted to sort of be able to give back a little bit and if my art can raise money doing that that's great but also I really like the shape I thought the shape was great um and I'm desperate to go and visit Shetland at some point it's on my bucket list it's quite high on my bucket list um and so I was thinking oh well if I get a lighthouse it'll be an excuse to make my to get up there (laughs) yeah I know (laughs) try and aim for that way I know it's amazing um it's amazing how um how far afield um like our artists are but people that are interested in the trail and I really hope that people get to see I've not been to Shetland either actually I feel, I feel like it's Shetland and Orkney is on everyone's hit list that I've been speaking mm-hmm. to that would love to go there I'm just waiting for that excuse and I think yeah. now that we haven't been able to travel it's like right how far away from the mainland can I get <laughs> <laughs> yeah to be honest everyone's desperate to go on holiday at the minute aren't they but to be honest I'm quite happy staying in this country there's loads of places I want to go it'd just be nice to be able to get out of my local area yeah exactly <laughs> I'm the local park <laughs> cross cross the border and we can pull you up here to come and see, <laughs> yeah. see everything so do you know, tell us a bit more about who you are as just an, as an artist generally what's your work inspired by does it have a specific style or um so most of the time I um, work on animals and wildlife um it, it wasn't really something I planned on doing it kind of happened a bit by accident because I trained as an illustrator so I do okay. do illustration briefs and they sort of vary greatly on subject matter um but most of the time I paint animals um, and so when I did two designs for the trail and the one that got picked was the non-animal one, which yeah. I was really pleased about actually, because it's really nice to have a change from painting yeah. stags and hares and owls and <laughs> stuff. So I like to make people smile. Um, most of my work tends to be a bit on the fun side um, or they'll have like a quirky expression or they'll have a daft name. Like I think yeah. one of my most popular hares is called Forest Gump and everyone <laughs> loves it. And I still get requests about it now. And it's just, I'd, I'd like to have a bit of humour in my work. Yeah, just making people happy when they see, mm. see your artwork as well. So without giving it away, because obviously we're keeping it under wraps, um, what can we expect from your uh, White House design? Lots of colour, lots and lots of colour. Um, I was lightly inspired by the Lindisfarne Gospels and the Vikings sort of coming oh, over cool. and colonising. So the, the sort of colour scheme and the bits of gold and silver I was sort of quite inspired by illuminated manuscripts. So yeah. that's sort of what colour scheme you're mm-hmm. looking at. But there's a lot going on. It's more like, um, I don't know, it's a bit like a storyboard, really. Oh, cool. That's brilliant. So, yeah, so it's like something... Like can it be something people can pick up themselves and just sort of follow along the sort of story yeah. with the with the shape? I, I wanted it to be something that you'd spend time looking at rather than just sort of glancing like, walking by. Yeah. So <laughs> like it's it's kind of different all the way around. There's a oh, lot cool. going on. And it's also different levels, there's different things going on. Oh cool. So it took longer than I thought it was going to take, I'll be honest with <laughs> you. It's been like the underwriting um, thing has been that, oh my God, two and a half metres is big. <laughs> yeah, I think I think also I'm always really over ambitious with how long I think things are going to take me in general. Um, and when I've been doing a few of these trails, I sort of judge how long things take based on how many of the Harry Potter books it takes me to listen to. <laughs> um, but I think that. with The Lighthouse, I listened to all of them oh and my. then I still listen to podcasts. <laughs> so it, it did take a lot of hours, but it's great. I really like it inspirations what is that about harry potter does that get you in the sort of creative wizarding magical sort of headspace it's kind of easy to listen to um i mean i love the books yeah. but i've read them and listened to them loads but it's something um when i'm working you kind of tune out a little bit so you don't want to yeah. put something on you've never heard before yeah or something that you have to concentrate on so a lot of the time i listen to either audio books of books i've read yeah. or um it'll be um 
podcasts that but they're mm-hmm. quite light-hearted podcasts so yeah. um I listen to a few where they sort of interview sort of famous people um David yeah. Tennant's podcast is actually quite good that oh. was one of the other ones I listened to I'll when I was doing it out. awesome I didn't know yet it's amazing all these incredible celebrities have just like ramped up into podcasts in the last year or so yeah I think um, we started doing it in the pandemic there's been two oh, seasons right. and they're all they're mainly all actors but yeah. it's all quite light-hearted and they, they have oh. a good laugh so that's good so a top tip for if you're doing any artwork, <laughs> David Tennant is your man. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Brilliant. That's so good. And yeah, so you mentioned before that this isn't your first time doing a uh, sculpture for yeah. Wild and Art Trail. So what other trails have you been involved in and why? So my first one was up here. So it was um uh, Great North Snow Dogs, I think the trail was called. Oh, cool. It was a snow dog design. And then I did the Great North Elmer, again, local to me. Yeah. And then I've done three other sculptures that were meant to go live last year. And obviously with the pandemic, they didn't. Yep. So I've done a couple of cows for Cambridge. And what was the other one? Hey, what is the other one? <laughs> I don't remember. That's really bad. Uh, oh, no, it's the lighthouse. The lighthouse. lighthouse. Is, um, I knew there was three. The must have been another one. <laughs> yeah, like houses in my dining room, and I'm currently doing a rocket at the moment for Rocket Around Leicester. Oh, cool! Um, I actually had to edit my house for that one because all the other <laughs> I managed to sort of get them in the dining yeah. room. My studio is like an old building, so there's no chance yeah. of them coming here. But um, I've managed to always get the others in the dining room, but I knew the rocket was too big, so I ended up using it as an excuse to put um, patio doors on the garage, Ooh, nice. which is great because then it's a nicer space to work in. It's warmer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which helps. yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. I'd love to see. I think I'd love to see a picture of your dining room just with all of these sculptures and ar- objects. Sort of. <laughs> the cows one was quite funny because when the cow turned up, I was actually out. I was at the post office, and my dad was in with my my son waiting for this cow to arrive. And I was, oh, when it comes, just stick it on the dining table. And I got home and I looked through the dining window because it's at the front of the house, and there was just it's a full size cow. There was just a full size cow still at the dining table, and it was absolutely huge. And I was just like, oh. So I ended up um, taking the legs off the dining table so it was sort of raised off the ground a little bit. But um, when they then rang me and said I was getting a second one a week later, I was like, okay. okay. Well, that's fine. I was <laughs> getting... fine it. It'll be all right. I was getting worried when you said take the legs off there. I was like, that poor cow. Oh, but then you said dining table, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. So what is it about, um, you're like a trail veteran I know. So what is it about the trails that sort of drew, drew you to being part of them? largely the charity aspect so the ones up here were for a hospice that's sort of really close to heart and actually my first ever sculpture I painted it at the hospice cool. and it's St Oswald's Hospice it, it, it looks after um it's for the children's department so it's for kids who are terminally ill or in long-term care and um for both of my sculptures on that one they kept them which is lovely oh, so they're at the great. hospice now and that's really? really nice but I also when I first did them really enjoyed the challenge so normally I work on paper and I work in ink and watercolors yeah. but it was a complete change to then work on a 3d surface and then I was having to try and replicate my style but with ink and water um with acrylic and um I mixed it with sort of glazing medium so it was translucent and yeah, it was really job. interesting trying to sort of figure out how I can sort of do a design but then still make it look like my artwork yeah um, so I, I like a challenge it's nice to do things that are a little bit different from painting the same old hairs yeah <laughs> um not that I I, I I do like my job honestly I do but it's <laughs> to have something that's a little bit different every now and then yeah you have to have it's nice to have sort of a big project to aim for and like you said doing totally different techniques and that and I think that's something I'm sort of learning and speaking to people like yourself is that it's so um although it's like the similar like even if your design looks similar the way you've had to do it and recreate that design is just worlds away from what you'd be doing like in any other day of the week and it's so it's so incredible to see how um designs that you don't think would match well for being just exploded up and like how did you manage to take something that's usually quite quite petite and quite detailed yeah. but you've kept that all the great points of that but made it two and a half meters tall for example in the yeah. lighthouse <laughs> Yeah, it's. Uh, I think that the lighthouse actually is the first one I've done that is completely different to what yeah. I normally do. So it doesn't feature animals at all. There's yeah. no animals, and so I didn't need to kind of replicate my style because I was almost trying to replicate the gospels and the illuminated yeah. manuscripts. And I, I did a lot of research into um, like the Opelia festivals and mm. some of the different artifacts that are sort of found on 
Shetland Mall or in Orkney. Yeah. And so I really enjoyed that side of things because as I said, I trained as an illustrator. And a lot of the time in my work, I don't tend to need to do a lot of research. Yeah. I might have to look for photos of poppies or something like that. <laughs> yeah. sort of put mice on. But most of the time it's just like, oh, I've got a bit of hair. Let's pick yeah, hair. Whereas I really enjoyed the research side of this project. I did a lot of it and sort of tried to take elements from different sort of um, references. And that was great. Really enjoyed that. That's amazing. I can't wait to see um yeah, see that like the story come to life within within the White House. It sounds incredible. I wonder if we're gonna get a lot of really dizzy people just walking around yours, just like <laughs> trying to see what's going on and follow the story. <laughs> oh, so. Um I, I just I just like I think um sometimes the best art's the one you sort of sit and sort of stare at for a while um yeah. I, I collect art myself from other people people always assume I have my work in my house I really don't um I like to collect other things and my favorite thing is something where I'm not really sure how they've done it yeah. or I'll, I'll look at it for quite a long time to try and work out what how they made it and like why they did it and I just I wanted to do that a little bit in the lighthouse so awesome so really sucking sucking the viewers in as well and I think yeah for particularly for those that are um because this trail's like so far spread, it's probably one of the like widest geographic trails mm. uh, within the local communities and that. And it's it's great to know that like sort of the the the, the heart and effort and thought that you've put into it, so that you know if you're going to like um, one of the smaller communities, you know that it's really like you're going to see something quite special. And it's not something you're like, oh, that's nice, and then walk yeah. on. You can actually <laughs> just get involved in the story and get involved in the art. So yeah, that's really definitely. exciting. So you did say about Orkney and Shetland. So our, our travel restrictions are wearing. <laughs> will, yeah. will we see you up here in the northeast and northern Isles uh, come I def some time? I definitely want to come and see it on situ if I can. Like, yeah. so if I'm allowed to come, I'm coming. I don't, yeah. I, I don't know <laughs> how that's happening. I don't, I don't. So where I'm obviously going to have to stay because it's a long way to go to the yeah. drive back in the day. Um, but I sort of the the loose plan is just to have a little bit of a holiday. And one of the nice yeah. things about being self-employed is I don't need to book holiday in advance. I'm just yeah. going to sort of see what happens and what 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 we're allowed to do and when we're allowed to do it. And yeah. Then, yeah. Awesome. We could sneak you in the middle of the lighthouse, just just like cram <laughs> yourself in there if, if travel restrictions aren't allowing at that point. <laughs> yeah, possibly. <laughs> Brilliant. So if you... Nathan might wonder where the hell I've gone. He'll probably have a screaming toddler like banging on it. Like, where's <laughs> the yeah, where is she? Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant and um yeah so i wonder for those that are sort of keen to see i know you've, you've the precursor is which is nice actually because people won't be able to get too much of a clue of what your your white house will be um uh, what else have you got coming up this year and where where can people see your existing art that you have just now um well i have a studio in northumberland it's um in an old i think it's 16th century church oh, cool. or something so i've, I've I've got like lovely wooden beams. I agree, so yeah, I can see that. That's yeah, brilliant. Um, and the walls are sort of not flat and nothing straight. <laughs> and I quite like it. I mean, I'm actually yeah. in the attic, so my, my ceiling's like that. So I don't actually have a lot of flat wall <laughs> to actually have pictures <laughs> on, but I'm here. Um, I usually do some of the shows, um, mm -hmm. but I'm sort of just going with the floor game with COVID. Uh, yeah. I know that Burley Horse Trials is meant to happen in September. And I think that's the only one I'm definitely wanting to do at the minute. And yeah. until then, I'd, I have online. I do, um, yeah. and I'm doing my sculptures. I'm really excited about the one I'm doing at the minute. It's got dogs in space. So Ooh. that's great fun. Um, that's exciting. So, yeah, um, <laughs> just plodding on. I've got a three-year-old as well. So there's also limits to what I can do yeah. and how much time I have to work. We start school full time in September. So uh, until yeah. then, I'm just enjoying running around feeding ducks and splashing in puddles <laughs> um, half the week. So. so champagne popping in September. I mean, celebrating your kids going to school <laughs> in September. <laughs> more, more likely gin, but yeah. Gin, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Summon stronger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, def it's definitely an interesting juggle. I mean, it was interesting before lockdown, but then when you've got lockdown and he doesn't nap anymore and you've got to somehow <laughs> fit your commissions in. And that, that the, it was basically when I was doing the lighthouse that he stopped having naps. And oh, I was no. just like, oh. <laughs> so I had a lot of late nights. I was up till like one in the morning quite often, oh. <laughs> just like more yellow. <laughs> I feel but, like yeah. we need like some sort of, um, I'm not going to say survivor's badge, but something mm. in recognition of all the mums and dads out there that have had to continue life whilst um, homeschooling, whilst just even looking after a child and like 
because you're home all the time having to like oh mum's here I'm gonna grab attention because she's here that would normal never normally happen I I don't have any children so I'm I'm very I'm very grateful that it's, <laughs> it's happened just now but um yeah my, my hat goes off to everyone that sort of um yeah just managed to cope and just put their children first and been there for them right way throughout this I, I felt quite lucky in a way because because Fraser was so young um I didn't really need to do a whole lot in the terms of homeschooling like um, a lot of my, the other artists who have studios here I've sort of yeah. been watching how much they've had to homeschool their kids and I really really felt for them yeah. whereas Fraser and nursery I think they had to be able to count to five and I think Fraser Fraser's um he loves these numbers and phrase yeah. I can count to 30 and yeah. it's just so I was just like let's go to the park yeah, <laughs> <Done>. <laughs> let's you know? go. yeah he's um he's he's Brilliant. definitely a little bit on the bright side and we have some challenges we had some challenges with sort of speech and language but we're mm -hmm. sort of overcoming those but I didn't have to sort of teach him much at all so that was great I did I just like Brilliant. I used to send pictures to his teacher he's done a, he's done a jigsaw today and look it's got numbers on it and that was pretty much my homeschooling yeah um Love so it. And has he been getting involved in any of the, the artwork at all? Is he, is he going to be a budding artist as well, or is he? Not when he meant to. He did draw my lighthouse. <laughs> oh, no. Um, yeah, there was one, there was one day uh, I had forgot to shut the dining room door, and he'd gone downstairs without waking me up in the morning. I'm not a morning person, so I didn't quite hear him. And then I heard all this clatter, and I went downstairs, and he'd managed to get his red paint. Thankfully, it was his red paint. Yeah. But it was all over my dining room floor, oh, no. which is a carpet, all over my dresser unit. And then he decided to help Mammy paint the lighthouse. And this is when Mammy had finished painting the lighthouse. So I had to get, get the wet wipes off. Thankfully, with it being kids' paint, it washed off quite well. Oh, I had to touch up a couple of little bits with the Posca pens. But I was just like, <laughs> and uh, he did the same yeah. thing with one of my commissions, actually. Oh, no. um, the first lockdown, I was doing a squirrel commission with um, an oak tree branch and it had taken me a oh. and so he coloured it in so I had to start again oh, so no. yeah Fraser loves art it's just not always uh when I want him to yeah <laughs> not on your terms on his terms <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant well I suppose for um everyone out there me included if you were to give us um one one tip to take away with us if we want to get into art uh and start creating our own things and start drawing animals and what what was the what was the main tip you'd give us I think don't take yourself too seriously don't don't be too precious just play just have it have a go with different mediums as I say I didn't mean to do this as a career it kind of yeah. happened by accident and a lot of it was just experiment and just yeah. playing and I still do that now so I'm, I mainly work in ink and watercolors but sometimes I get a bit bored so I've started introducing a bit of gold leaf or I've yeah. started oh, wow. trying to paint backgrounds in a slightly different way to how I did before and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't but yeah. when it does work it works really well and yeah. so you've just got to try new things yeah. um and a lot of people say to me, oh, I'm rubbish at drawing. I don't yeah. really believe that. I think there's yeah. always something that people are good at. They might not be great with, say, a pencil, mm -hmm. but they might be really good at sort of pouring acrylic or yeah. mosaics. So I think it's nice to be creative in whatever way that takes. Awesome. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, I think it's it's one of the things that I think, um, yeah, people realise the importance of art. And um, yeah, a lot of people are getting stuck in now to art mm. with, uh, just because of being stuck at home. Uh, but it's great to see. And yeah, hopefully we we'll get a new sort of generation of younger artists as well if they've all been uh, working at home, maybe under supervision rather than just taking it upon themselves to go and paint their mum's artwork. <laughs> yeah, that would be better. Also, t top tip, don't leave the dining room door open. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> top tip, keep it locked away. Lockdown, normally, normally I'd paint here, but in lockdown I wasn't. I was working from home because obviously yeah. he wasn't in school. And it was just like, yeah, I've le yeah. I learned the hard way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so experiment keep your kids away from it job done yeah. <laughs> brilliant thank you so much you know uh, for spending some time with me this morning no and chat about your uh, white house i can't wait to see it it's good. it sounds like a lot of fun and yeah hopefully you can get up to Orkney in shetland this year and we can see you fingers crossed i'm desperate to go too so fingers crossed we can all go up uh, and actually get get a visit around the islands but also see this amazing artwork on the streets and thank you again everyone for tuning in for our latest episode with gina and we'll leave some links below so you can get um uh, yeah check out some more of Gina's artwork and uh, see this infamous hair I've been hearing about as well so thank you Nicole take care and we'll see you next time. Yeah.